first signs, I hope you had a good January. We are taking a look at what kind of February you're going to have as a result of the kind of January that you had. So what kind of February, what kinds of themes are you going to see in February? as a result of what you saw, what you did, what you thought in February, excuse me, January. What you did, what you said. I see a conflict here in Fe in January. So we're going to take a look at what happened in January and see how that kind of um, bring, comes to a head or um, brings out results in February. I saw a choice, see a choice being made last month about a conflict. Some words may have been said and a choice may have been made as a result of what was said, maybe something was stolen from you. Um, some low vibing water signs may have stolen from other folks. But a choice was made here and it wasn't an easy one because I see with the Two of Cups, this is connected to some kind of relationship that was a deep one. There was a deep attraction here. And now there is some change started in January. So it's possible that this relationship needed to rupture, but for other water signs, um, this is a relationship that should have been nurtured. Either way, um, the wheel of fortune is turning and change is coming through. It's possible that some folks will, um, will in the month of January, some folks found that they needed to reach out for help, that they weren't in a good position. It could have been lack mindset for some water signs. They may have struggled with that. This situation may have been so new that they didn't see what they had out in front of them, and so they're kind of struggling with that. I see a delayed transition for some water signs and then other water signs, they were able to finish this cycle and move on into the next one. For other water signs, they are still struggling to um, get through this particular cycle. They're struggling to put an end to it, to get some closure here. And so some of that in energies might be rolling over into February. I see temperance here coming into the energy of February, February landing on the five of swords. So um, there might, excuse me, there might be a situation with this high conflict um, kind of choice that some balance will be brought back to the situation, either by your hand or by the universe. You, may make, you may, might make a choice that invites the universe to come in and establish balance. The universe might choose to say, um, might choose to protect you this month. I do see some attacks coming from, well, coming from the Seven of Wands, but you also being in a place where you can concentrate on yourself, you can concentrate on your intuition, you're able to meditate, for instance, on this wonderful balance coming into your life. Or your situation is so chaotic that you just eventually say, I've had enough, I'm getting a lot of Scorpio energy from this. But eventually, um, Pisces and Cancer should absolutely follow and focus on their balance this month to make their life a lot happier. Yeah, you're being asked to chase that balance. Make that a priority. Think about how you can explore 
new ways of thinking about yourself, about how you can bring balance to yourself and then not on just not just think about what you're going to do, actually do it. In the month of February, you are being called to not just think about what you want to do, but you're asked to actually do this for yourself. The universe has your back. The universe is protecting you in the month of February, water signs. And now it's time to do differently, to think differently, and to walk away from a situation. It might take a while to finish walking away, but with the world card in reverse, this might take a while for you to actually get to the point where you can completely walk away and completely establish balance for yourself. That might take a while, but it is absolute, absolutely worth getting there for. And with, the, with this night energy, I'm getting a lot of, you know, some fiery strength. And again, Scorpio energy, I get that. Uh, but I'm getting determination to get to a place where you can relax in the knowledge that you've done the right thing for yourself because you thought this out really, really carefully. You are asked to become the master of your own emotions, to become the master of your own intuition, to not need others' guidance, to get through life, to get through choppy waters, for instance, to get through a difficult emotional circumstances. The universe wants eventually you to become your own rock. The Knight of Cups, excuse me, the King of Cups lands on the world in reverse, and I feel like that this is energy that got left behind in January and that you're being asked to pick up again more intensely in February. Um, you really, really do need, the universe is saying that you really do need to work on this King of Cups energy, work on becoming the best King of Cups, becoming the best master of your intuition, um, listening to it very, very carefully, a hair trigger, your intuition that says something, you're able to act and do. You've already thought this through, now your intuition just needs to pull that hair trigger. Um, that might take some time for some folks, but this is absolutely worth it because you have some bigger situations coming on down the road that you're going to need to be this kind of strong for. You've got some bad, like some low vibing water signs might have some bad karma coming their way. Um, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, and with the emperor in reverse. This is about water signs not necessarily having all their kings upright and in balance with each other. This is quite possibly about water signs, some water signs, not all, take it as it resonates. Some water signs have not been listening to their intuition in the past. And they haven't been doing either. In fact, I see a lot of sit down and just kind of stay in place kind of energy. And the universe doesn't reward, excuse me, the universe doesn't reward sitting and staying in place. It absolutely needs, um, especially water signs, to not be stagnant. It needs you to keep flowing, to keep moving, um, to listen carefully to your intuition. And some of you might need to let go of physical resource. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Some of you might need to let go of physical resources because this emperor, your kings aren't in control, right? And emperor energy, king energy um, is not about gender. Um, this is more about you being the master of yourself. Um, the emperor is one side of the empress right so water signs might be able to know just fine how to nurture themselves in some regards when it comes to the empress she didn't come out this time but when it comes to being the master of your own life um financially emotionally spiritually mentally um, water signs are being asked to up level here because they've struggled in the past I did see this year being kind of a difficult one for water signs, so this might be part 
of you becoming the best ver version of yourself this year. I want to take a look at Sufi wisdom and see what kind of advice water signs have for the month of February. What can water signs do to have the best February possible? You might need to make some new friends. You might need to do some networking this month. So for some of you, not being alone is one of the best things possible. Um, genuinely reaching out to people who mean, uh, mean the best for you, who love you deeply, are the people who are going to be able to help you see how unique you are, who are Picking the right people is also going to help refill your cup. Um, you refill your cup in the sense that this is your self-love cup, I should say. So the cards are reminding you that this year is going to show off how unique you can really be. Especially if you pay close attention to what the universe has to say, what your spirit guides, what your ancestors have to say you have the potential to really see yourself in a new light entirely. The Nine of Pentacles didn't pop out here, but I do see that being in alignment with the Empress card. When you are drunk with love for yourself, you see yourself for all your flaws, for all your incredible upsides, your talents. Even if you don't feel like you're talented, the universe is reminding you that you still have something incredible to offer yourself as well as to others. This year is going to be about honing you into that person who sees exactly what you are worth this year. So you are unique, says be yourself, everyone else is taken. Um, I know it's been said before, probably to the point that it's become a cliche for some folks, but... Um, there is some truth in cliches, too. So Spirit says that is all for water signs for the month of February. I hope that you have a great month. If I can do a personal reading for you, I'm at fourwandsdivination.com. Also, take a look at this week's reading for January 30th through, the, um, through February 5th. There might be some other messages in there that resonate with you. Have a great month.